since I was young, so it only felt natural for me to go into tattooing. Because like, ever since I was a small boy, I would always like find myself painting on my arms and legs, and I was always fascinated by tattoos from an early age. So like, yeah, as soon as I was legal to get tattooed, I got tattooed and never looked back. I got it when I was 15. That was like, yeah, my very first tattoo was done by my friend who was just having fun with like, uh, Tamiya. Like he had made his own uh, tattoo machine. So we were just like having fun tattooing each other. Yeah, and he tattooed me. It's quite fun. I feel like tattoo artists should have tattoos. Yeah, I, if not some visible tattoos. You know, it doesn't really have to be that crazy if you are thinking about a plan B, you know, if you want to stay, if you want to be safe about like your backup job or something in case tattooing doesn't doesn't turn out to be whatever you expect it to be. My first tattoo was done outside of Nisun camp by David, which is my dragon tattoo on my left chest. When I started to have tattoo, I have a goal in mind already, which is to have my full body, my full body tattooed, uh, fully tattooed, yeah. excluding the face. Once I save up enough money for my right hand, because I'm planning to go overseas to give a very famous artist who is uh, Nico Hutado. Yeah, he's an extremely famous tattoo artist in LA. Uh, I got my first tattoo when I was 18. But I did say, like, I told my parents that I wanted to get a tattoo when I was 16, yeah, so, but I told them I'll wait till I was 18 when I was legal to get, yeah, so I got it on 18. Per piece, I think it would be around maybe 30 to 40k per arm, yeah, which is like four times my current tattoos. Uh. 1 to 1.3k? 8k. Because I tend to go for apprentice and, and also like after one, two, you kind of make friends with them so I get like cheaper rates la. like the most expensive that I ever paid for is 250 okay. I think you must hold her hand <笑>如果你要我可以你就给我讲你自己就不要动了对啊你痛你抓我你不要动我痛为什么没有买药的你没有买药的拿命可以拿命可以买药的肉啊不会痛还有骨头啊他走过去他跟你割下去那骨头又
are categorized differently. Like liners are for doing lines. Uh, rounds are sort of like like liners, but most of the time we use it as like a it's like a loosely packed liner. So if you do lines, it's like if you do lines with these, it's not as sharp. It's not as like tight. So most of the time people use this for like filling, like colouring and like shading. So this is the autoclave. We have to, every time we use uh, metal tubes, we will put it in here, wash it and then sterilise it in this. Okay, Chinese will be called saki, which is like cool. Yeah, that would be the word. Uh, it's kind of cool when you go out with a fully tattoo guy, like, wow, this guy is like uh, awesome, like, um, must be a gangster. My dad doesn't really like like he okay he really hates it. He he is the, the basically he is the typical older generation that you be like if you have tattoo means people think you're a gangster. So he has that kind of mindset. <laughs> Very proper kind of jobs, it's not easy to get, when, especially when you have tattoos that are visible. Okay, basically for office jobs, right, uh, definitely you will have to cover the tattoo, so uh, make sure when you wear formal wear, no tattoos are jutting out. Oh, you want to get from my... All this while when I've been working is under credit control, which some say is like a legalized loan shark. Yeah, so I think it suits me well. <laughs> I'll give you the most outrageous one, okay? I've done, I've tattooed a penis before. Like, I've tattooed, no, like, I've tattooed a star on a guy's penis. <laughs> yeah, so that is, that has to be, like, the most odd and outrageous tattoo I've done. Other than that, I've did this, like, funny word on this guy's ass. It just says bum bum on his bum. So, like, yeah, it's pretty cool guy, like, Canadian guy. Chill, yeah. I'm guessing last time they sort of judge you more, but now it's sort of silent judging. A few will go and tell their mum and dad, Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, why is that? Why he got so many pictures on his body? Yeah, then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Older people, uncles and aunties, will, will sort of like look at my hands before, then they'll look up at me, and then because my hands are so blonde, so you can tell, la, but they don't see in your face. Uh, you say, oh, this is body art, yeah. So some, some are, some accept tattoos, la, but some, like, will say, hey, don't go near this guy, uh, or they just pull the kid away or something like that. Yeah, so you can see which other modern people and which are the old traditional people. Yeah, but I won't blame them. Uh, yeah. A tradition where the outsider buys the bodysuit of you. He makes a deal with like the tattoo artist and the guy who owns the tattoo, I think. So like, he pays for it. So after the guy dies, right, the guy is skinned off his tattoos and the, the, the tattoos that are, that are skinned off the, the, dead bo the dead person, right, is framed in a frame, like a, and like an art piece, like this, like as you can see. Okay, I don't regret it, yeah, definitely. Generally, I, I don't really regret like, getting tattoos. Unless it's like a really big one and it's like, you know, it takes over like my whole arm and I really hate it, then yeah, but that's what, maybe that's the reason why I, I do like smaller stuff, so I don't regret it. I feel like 
people need to think progressively as as uh, time goes by because if we're constantly going to be trapped in like a mentality that was like 10 to 20 years ago then you know how are we going to progress together as as a whole yeah.